Hello and welcome to the first project on setting up SSH connection between two Ubuntu containers in Docker. In this video, I'm going to briefly give an overview of the project one so that you can get some idea about it. This project involves setting up and establishing a secure shell SSH connection between two Ubuntu containers in Docker. First, we are going to run container one, which is Ubuntu container after pulling it from Docker Hub. Then we will do SSH configuration. Specifically, we are going to install open SSH server package on the first container, container one, because it allows the container to act as an SSH server and accept incoming SSH connections. This package includes the necessary components for running an SSH server. Next, we will run a second container, container 2, and do the same SSH configurations, but this time we will install SSH client package because it allows the container to act as an SSH client and initiate outgoing SSH connections. Also, the package includes the necessary components for connecting to an SSH server. As soon as we are done with containers, we need to set a new password for the root user inside the first container. Finally, the end result is two Ubuntu containers that can communicate with each other securely over SSH. Now, what are the key takeaways from this project? Or in other words, why we need to learn how to set up SSH connection between two Ubuntu containers in Docker? Well, First and foremost is improved security. By setting up an SSH connection between the two containers, you have established a secure and encrypted connection that ensures confidentiality, integrity, and authenticity of the data transmitted between them. This helps to protect your application and data from unauthorized access and data breaches. Second, easy of management. Docker makes it easy to manage and deploy containers, which, help to which helps to reduce the complexity and the time required for managing your application infrastructure. By using containers, you can easily move your application from one environment to another, making it easier to test, deploy, and scale your application. Third is better collaboration. With this project, you can enable multiple team members to work on the same application simultaneously, as each, te each team member can have their own container that can communicate with other containers over SSH. This can help to improve collaboration and productivity, as team members can work independently and share their work with each other in a secure and efficient manner. Fourth is scalability. Containers are lightweight and can be easily scaled up or down to meet the changing application demands. By using Docker, you can quickly spin up new containers as needed, as needed to handle increased traffic and then shut them down when traffic decreases. This helps to optimize resource utilization and reduce costs. Last but not the least is portability. Docker containers are highly portable, which means that you can easily move them between different environments and cloud providers without having to worry about dependencies or configuration issues. This can help to simplify your application deployment and management processes and reduce the risk of downtime due to environment-specific issues. I would highly recommend you to try this project one as an assignment before going through it with me in the next video. Good luck and I will see you in the next lecture. Hey everyone, so let's get started to create our first project. So first thing first, we need to run Docker image. So in order to run a Docker image, first we need to pull that image from the Docker hub. So let me go to my browser and see the Docker hub.docker.com and if you go to the explorer page you will see the list of images like ubuntu and genx you can see python so you can also search on top here you can say for example since we are going to pull the ubuntu image i'm going to search ubuntu 
And as you can see here, we have a Ubuntu image. If you click on that, you will see the list of information like supported tags, quick reference, like what is Ubuntu and what's in this image like this. So on the right top section, you can see the command docker pull Ubuntu. So we need to the, we need this command. So let's copy that and then let's go to WSL and I'm going to press control shift and V and I'm going to click on enter and this will download. This will pull the latest uh, Ubuntu image from Docker Hub. As you can see, it is really fast because I have already downloaded it before this video. So in your case, it might take a few seconds. So you need to wait a bit. So after you have pulled the Ubuntu image, you can run Docker images and you can see there is a Ubuntu repository with a tag, image ID, creation date and size. So as soon as we're done with pulling the Ubuntu image, we need to create a new directory, let's say new folder. I mean, project one MKDR, let's say, uh, let's name it as a project one. And if I do LS, you can see we have a project one folder. Let's go to this directory project one. And if I do PWD, you can see we are inside home Autobag project one. So Autobag is just my name. So inside the directory, we can start running our first container. So now we will create our first Docker container. In order to do that, I'm going to run docker run it and then the name would be container1. And the image name of the image is Ubuntu. All right? So this will create the new Ubuntu container with the name container1. The IT option will start the container in interactive mode. So you can see we are inside the interactive mode, inside the container. So now we need to install SSH in the first container. So we need to run the following command inside the container. apt get update. And of course it will take a few seconds. If you want, you can fast forward the time. And now we need to install open SSH server. For that, I'm going to run apt get install open SSH and then server dash server. Click on enter and this will install this open SSH server. And you need to wait a few seconds or minutes. So as you can see, it's done. I have just fast forward the time since it took about three, about two or three minutes. So, so what now we need to configure SSH in the first container. So for that, we need to edit the SSH configuration file using the following command, apt get install nano first. So first we need to install the nano. And after that, we need to run the following command nano and then the and, and, and then the slash AT, atc and ssh and inside the ssh we have ssh d, ssh d and then ssh d and config and if i do enter you can see we have a list of information so you need to basically uncomment the following line Go to authentication part here. You can see the authentication here, right? Let me show you. This is authentication section. So you need to uncomment this. Um, let me show you here. Uncomment this. Let's do edit. Let's go to below. Yeah, I'm going to go to below. And here I'm going to basically uncomment this permit root logging. And I'm going to delete this prohibit password and change it to yes. So once you are done, you can press Ctrl S and Ctrl X and this will save it. If I do again, nano uh, ETS, uh, ETC, SSH, 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 dconfig, you can see we have uncomment and change it to permit root logging to yes. Here it, here it is. So let's go back. And now, uh, we need to now we need to 
restart the SSH server in the first container. But before doing that, let's change the status by running the um, service. Service. Let's check the status first. Status all. And you can see we have SSH, but it's not started. So in order to start this SSH, you need to run service SSH start. And you can see it's now starting open BSD secure shell server SSHD. So if I do again service status all, you will see that it's now enabled. It means it's started. Okay. So now we need to go out. We need to exit. And let me do clear here. So now we need to create a second container. For that, I'm going to run docker run docker run and then the IT which is interactive mode and the name would be container 2 and that will be Ubuntu image click on enter and you can see we are inside the second container we need to do the same steps like we need to install the SSH in this container for that I'm going to run apt get update Now this time I'm going to install OpenSSH client instead of OpenSSH server. As you remember, in inside the fir first container we installed OpenSSH server, but this time we are going to install OpenSSH client. So I'm going to basically run apt get install OpenSSH and then the client. And this will basically install the OpenSSH client, which is required to connect to the first container. I'm going to click on enter and this will take a few minutes or like seconds. So let's wait and I'm going to click on yes. So as you can see, it's now down. So, so, so far we have created Docker container one and Docker container two. And inside these both containers, we have configured SSH. And then in the first container, we installed open SSH server. In the second container, we have just uh, installed the open SSH client. So now we need to check the password for the root user on the first container. So for that, I'm going to exit. And you can do so by running the following com command inside the first container. In order to go to the first contain container, simply you can run docker exec dash it interactive mode and container one and bash. And it's saying that docker, uh, it's saying that error response from daemon. That means that you need, we need to start the docker container one. So you can do it by running docker start container container one all right so once we start the container one we can run the command again docker exec it container one bash and now you can see we are inside the container one so now we need to check the password so let's go let's run chat etc and then shadow and then pipe and we need to run grab root and you can see this is the password. So we need to, uh, so this will show you the hashed password for the root user. However, it is generally not recommended to rely on password alone for secure authentication. So in order to set a new password for the root user, we can do, we can do so by running the following command as a root user inside the first container. So let's run pass, uh, let's clear first. You can understand it clearly pass wd and then root and you can see it's now asking me the new password let's give it a sim really simple password let's say one two three and then one two three and you can set you can see now password updated successfully so now uh, in order to connect to the first container from the second container using ssh we need to check the ip address of the container one so we need to exit first from here. Okay, we need to exit from the container. And then now we need to run docker inspect container one. 
and then pipe character and then uh, grab IP address, right? So pipe grab IP address. If I click on enter, you can see it's now showing me the container one IP address, 172.17.0.2. So we will need this IP address. Now let's go to the container two by running this command on docker exec it and then container two and then bash. And so as you can see, it's giving us same message. So we need to start the container two as well. Docker start container two. And let's go again. Exact cont now we are inside the container too. So now we need to connect to the first container using SSH. So we need to run the following command inside the second container. So we are inside the second container. We need to run SSH root and then add uh, IP address. So IP address is 172.17.0.2. Um, but you can also here copy. Control C and Control Shift V. So I'm going to click on Enter. And you can see it's saying the connect to the host port connection refuse it. So that means we need to come back. Let's go exit here and then let's go to container one. Uh, let's start the container one. And let's go to the container one. Docker exact container one. And let's check the SSH server SSH that whether it's running or not. Uh, for that, I'm going to run service status status all. And you can see SSH is not starting. So we need to start it. All right. So I have already showed you. So you can do it by running service SSH start. And you can see it's now starting. Yes, it's now starting SSH. Now we can come back, exit, and let's go to the container two and run the previous command, SSH root and the IP address. Now it's asking me, are you sure you want to continue connecting? Yes, I'm, I'm sure. So you can see it's saying that uh, we need to enter the password that we have already set it, right? One, two, three. And if I click enter, you can see welcome to Ubuntu uh, 22 and you can see the list of information. So we have successfully done this project. So in this project, we, we set up an SSH connection between two Ubuntu containers in Docker. We configured SSH on the first container and then connected to it from the second container using the SSH command. By completing this project, we generate experience working with Docker containers, configuring SSH, and connecting to remote servers. Thank you very much, and see you in the next video.